Hey everyone, how's it going? So what we're going to do now is work on rendering some content to our web page because with the code that we wrote last time, um, when you actually access this from the browser, it doesn't do anything. It's just, see, it's just listening or it's just uh, continuously ex executing this. And that's because we haven't told it to actually stop or do something with this. It's just continuously going. So it's really easy to actually render content in our page and I'll show you how to do that now. Um, but if you haven't already, to stop this execution, you just go to the terminal right here, so click inside there, and press Control c and it will end this execution. So Control c will stop that, but that means if I then refresh this, or you can see that it's already stopped the page, okay? And if I refresh the page, I'll get an error because the server is not started, so there is no web page um, on this address. So anyway, what we'll do is we'll get rid of this console.log part right there, and um, we'll do something else instead. What we're going to do is just say uh, res dot uh, write like this, and then put some content in there. So inside there, we'll just put cheeseburgers, okay. And uh, then all we need to do is just say res dot end like this. Now you need to have this res dot end. Uh, if you don't have that, it will just still continue to listen. So this will basically tell it to stop, and you can render whatever I've given you. So um, if we start that up again, so go to the terminal and press up, or just manually type this out again. Uh, so node myapp.js, press enter, and you can see it's now running again. And if I go back to here and refresh this page, you'll see cheeseburgers. So we've rendered some content here. And if I right click on that and click inspect to open the developer tools, or you can press F12, it does the same thing. This is called the developer tools right here. Let me see if I can make that text bigger for you. Um, so you can see it's rendered our content, but it's actually put it inside some HTML for us. So we didn't do that ourselves, but it has done that for us. Okay. So great, we've rendered some content. But one thing you should do is tell the browser what kind of content you're sending. So a good habit to get into is to uh, go to here and right at the top we can just say res dot set header, and the header we're going to set is uh, content type. Now look at the uppercase uh, C and the uppercase T in there, uh, and then we're going to do a comma, and then we're going to say text dash HTML. Oh, HTML like that. So we're telling uh, the browser that the content we're going to give it is HTML code, okay? So don't worry too much about content types and what they are. Uh, that's kind of outside the scope of what I want this course to teach. Um, it's more of an HTTP uh, core knowledge kind of thing. So we're not really going to cover this, um, but just know we're telling the web page that this uh, content we give you is to be rendered as HTML code. So um, let's start that again, because if we refresh the page, our changes won't be there. What we need to do every time we make a change in here is we need to stop it using Control C and then rerun it. If we don't rerun it, we won't see the changes. So I've rerun that, and if I go back to here and press refresh, you'll see no difference to the page because we're still outputting cheeseburgers. But you'll see down here that this cheeseburger has now been rendered inside the body tag only, whereas previously, I forgot to point this out, but there was a pre tag right there. Um, but also, if I go to the network tab, and then refresh the page once more, so I refresh the page with the network tab open, I can show you that, oh, actually, let me just close this console down. So if yours is open right here, click this little X, and it'll close that. You can see we have these two. Uh, if I click on the local host, and just scroll down. You don't really need to do this. I just want to show you something. You'll see we have content type text HTML. So this was sent in the response headers for the page. So like I said, you don't need to worry about this. We're not going to go into too much detail on this. It's really not important for what we're going to cover here. Um, but I just wanted to point it out to you just so you have a kind of uh, understanding of what's going on. Now, uh, one last thing. You can put HTML code in here. You can do anything you want here. So you could, you could put some... Uh, HTML tags like this, you can do anything you want in here. So we can render whatever HTML code we want um, and it will render like that on the page. So uh, yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, but that in a nutshell is how we can uh, render content to our page. Now of course, we're not gonna be writing all our code inside this uh, write function right here. We are gonna use another file and just pass that in, but you'll see how we do that later on.